Welcome to a video tutorial on how to access the whiteboard in Office 365. Some faculty prefer to use the Office 365 whiteboard instead of the whiteboard that's used in uh, Blackboard Collaborate. There's a couple of different reasons for that, and when I show you some of the uh, some of the properties of the Office 365 whiteboard, you may want to use it as well. In order to access this whiteboard, you first need to log into your One Login account. Once you have logged in, you should be at your home page for One Login, and you should see a, a box or an icon here for Office 365. If you do not see the Office 365 icon, click on Company Everything. And this will take you to all of the different icons available in the college. Just simply look for Office 365 and you can click on it from there. Once you open Office 365, at the top of the page you will see a list of all of the different applications that you use most often. Um, I've already looked into Whiteboard so it's showing up in my favorites here. But if you can't find it right away, you simply click here where it says All Apps. Open up that box and scroll down until you see Whiteboard. Click on the icon for Whiteboard and this will take you to Microsoft Whiteboard in another tab. There are a couple of advantages to using Microsoft Whiteboard over the Whiteboard in Collaborate. So here we will first take a look, create a new Whiteboard, and this will open one up for you. You have the pens in different colors and eraser just like you would in your Collaborate Blackboard. Uh, whiteboard, sorry, in Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, but you have a couple of options here that are nice. One is you can save this whiteboard. So anything that you write on here will be available later. So we can save this and then download it and send it to our students. If it is something that we worked on with students in class and you want to provide them a copy of it, instead of having to do a screenshot, you can simply save this as an image and send it to the students later or post it in your D2L course shell. Another advantage to this, and one of the reasons people like the whiteboard and collaborate, is because students can participate in working on the whiteboard, as can you. But you can also send students a link to the whiteboard. In the top right-hand corner, you can see this plus sign. You can invite the students by email, but even easier is to create a sharing link. You can create a link to this whiteboard by clicking on it, copy that link, and then you could post this, um, paste this link into the chat room in Blackboard Collaborate during class time. The students can then click on the link. It will take them to the same whiteboard that you are working on and everyone can work on it together at the same time. If you would like to save your whiteboard, you click the settings tool here and you can export the whiteboard as an image. You can see down here in the bottom left corner of my browser, I have my whiteboard has been saved. You can then uh, email that file to the students or you can just post it in uh, uh, Blackboard Collaborate or you can post it in D2L for students to access later. If there's anything else that you'd like to know regarding Blackboard Collaborate or the use of Whiteboard instead, feel free to, to join the just-in-time sessions uh, in Microsoft Teams or you can send an email to CTEL. Have a great class!